Hey, you! You! Yeah, you! Young black man. Let me tell you some real shit. Get your shit together and don't believe the lie told to you by a country that tells you you have no right to be here. Well, guess what? What if you left us where we was at? We wouldn't be talking about this at all, would we? Young man, let me tell you how close to having your great history of black men and women who lived and died for the freedom that you now enjoy to become a race from the books forever. Let's start with the new legislation in Florida to stop teaching black history. Now let me show you what they're trying to erase. You already live in a country that makes you feel like your existence is less than zero. Proven by the murder rate in the hood. You will kill a man you grew up with before you point a gun or a weapon at your enemy. Just because our servitude was under the guise of slavery doesn't make our contributions any less. So don't you believe it. Now let's get to the history that they wish to erase. And if they are able to wipe us from the books, guess what's next? The internet. They wipe us from the books and use the internet to pump negative images into your subconscious of black men killing other black men over colors. Love your brother because nobody else gives a fuck. As long as you continue to act like the savage with a mentality closer to apes ancestors than human. Now I want to use the same internet to show you as a young black man you should be proud of your history. First off, let's give credit to this guy, Abraham Lincoln. As the official power of the United States of America, he set out to abolish slavery, which brings us to the Civil War. But long before the Civil War, we as black people stood on the lines next to white soldiers in the line of defense of this newly established 13 colonies. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the Boston Tea Party. If not, Familiarize yourself with it and familiarize yourself with this name. Crispus Attucks. And who is Crispus Attucks, you say? He is said to be the first man killed during the Boston Massacre. Not the first black man killed, but the first person killed in defense of the taxes trying to be imposed upon Americas by the King of England. Now let's skip a few hundred years later to the Civil War. And let me show you how proud you should be to be a black American. I'm talking to my nieces and nephews right now. And hopefully I'm speaking in a language that they will understand. Check this out. Imagine you being a free black man from the north, right? And you take yourself down to the south to free your mans in it. And you never go home to your kids, never see your family again. While you were leaving, you got killed. Game over for you. Your mans and them got away. A week later, he doing business with the people that killed you. What you gonna say about him? Exactly. So now, let me show you who's rolling in their graves right now, calling you that same thing. And if you can live with being called that, that's on you. We built different. So watch the people around you. Since they mess with your mind, let me mess with it for a little while. The next time you look at another black man and see him as your enemy, I ask that you take one fraction of a second to think, do I want to be the person that takes this man's life and disappoint these guys? Can you look in the face of your great, 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 great grandfather and explain to him why you killed your cousin? Why you shot at your nephew? How would you feel? Now let me show you your great lineage. And don't let their names die in vain. George Washington Carver. He was one of the most permanent black scientists in the early 20th century. Garrett Morris, the inventor of the street light and the gas mask. Sarah Boone, inventor of the iron board. Mary Van Britten Brown, co-inventor of the modern day home security system. Refrigerated trucks, Invented by Frederick McKinley Jones. Elevator doors. Invented by Alexander Miles. The microphone, as we know it, it was co-invented by James E. West. The light bulbs that we use each and every day was invented by Louis Latimer. 
Although Thomas Edison gets credit for it, but we know Edison always took credit for inventions that he never invented. The Lone Ranger was crafted after a black cowboy known as Bass Reeves. The psychological warfare being waged upon you is just a reminder to you if you dare to be different. For example, Angela Davis, Bobby Seale, Fred Hampton, Huey P. Newton, Stokely Carmichael's, Rosa Parks, Medgar Evers, the Woolworth Four, the Black Panthers, Harriet Tubman, the story of Miss Jane Pittman, Shirley Chisholm, Muhammad Ali, Frederick Douglass, James Baldwin, Dick Gregory. That's the history that they want to erase. Now, every war that the United States of America had fought, dating back to the Civil War, your ancestors were there. And since your ancestors are so detached from us in our history that we no longer feel their pain, I ask you to replace their faces and names with people that you have more of an attachment to, such as your mother, your father, your aunt, your uncle, nieces and nephew. So why would you want to disappoint your ancestors? They died for your freedom. Let me honor my ancestors that made the sacrifice, that made it secure for my freedoms that I enjoy today. So in honor of my grandfather, Sylvester Coy Moki, United States Navy Seaman, first class, even if that wasn't your rank, you were first class to me and any other black soldier since the Civil War, I salute you. The next time you have a black man in the sight of the barrel of your gun and he's running away, let him run. Then you go home and think about the life you just saved. Not his, yours. Because that's what we call a two for one sale. You get two young black men for the price of one. You get one dead and one locked up for life. Now that sounds like a sale to me. So I ask you. Can you look in the faces of these men, look them in their eyes and justify the bullshit that you on right now, nephew? You come from a line of greatness. Don't be fooled to think otherwise. The North Carolina Colored Volunteers, the 5th Massachusetts Cavalry, the Fighting 54 for Massachusetts, the 31st Infantry Regiment, and many more. Be proud of who you are.